Hi guys, today I am going to show how to upload CodeIgniter project in Heroku. First of all, we will download CodeIgniter. As of now, I am using CodeIgniter 3. I think even you can use CodeIgniter 4. Uh, let's extract it. Uh, let me rename this to maybe hello. Yeah. And uh, let me open it code editor okay here are the steps which i wrote like we downloaded the project now as of now we need to create project yeah this is yeah i already created some project here so that was the reason you are seeing over there you can click on create new give it hello php maybe hello php project okay it's saying that we need to have only lowercase yeah hello php project yeah, i think it's good hello yeah, this is good you can select whatever region you want as of now i'm leaving as a default yeah, just click on create app and then you can see like how to push all the code to heroku as of you you need to log in like i already done login to Heroku so I think I need not to do yeah, let's check cool login hey, you need to login to Heroku uh, it says like you know you just need to click login login in okay yeah, once you log in what we will do is like we we initialize a git yeah, you can press control back tick and you get a command prompt here let me uh, okay it is already default so i'll say like git init it's like initializing git repository yeah the one thing you need for suppose if you are uploading php project to heroku then you need to have like composer dot dot log file so for that you need to install composer i think i already have let me go once composer yeah, if you are not seeing like this then you need to go on install composer then if you use a composer then you should get all these things um, then clear yeah i'll say like composer update yeah this will create a composer.log file the log file is nothing but it's just like what are the dependencies yeah let me show once it completes i think it will take quite a long time maybe depending upon your internet speed let wait yeah i'll come back once it is done yeah it is done i think it's totally installed 27 packages like which code igniter uses so you think it's good yeah so we done all so let me add these files all to git I think it's taking quite a long time, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, it's done. Then I'll say let it commit. Maybe added com composer file. Yeah, then we need to add the remote repository of this git. So if you can find here, so if you you can add this thing like this name will be like different for you because i gave a name called hello php project so that was so that was the reason you were seeing here so i think you will be having different name then i'll add so this command uh, not, it does nothing it's just add a remote url you know for this project to this url so now we can push the all the changes to heroku Yeah, sorry. This is the one which you need to use. Yeah, I think it will take quite some time for all this stuff. Oh, okay. The error which we are seeing is like this is a git ignore file which by default it blocks composer.log file you know you see whatever the file you added here in git ignore all these files were not added to the git 
so we need this thing for Heroku you know for deployment purpose so I removed that one so let's add all the changes again I'll say git commit maybe we say like removed from it ignore we can say like yeah this is up to you you can give whatever you want just for clarification you know whenever we see what we done the changes which will then yeah let me push once again I think right I think this time we need not to see any errors yeah everything is done installing dependencies compressing I, I think everything is going fine yeah you can see your app here like I think everything is yeah I think your app yeah this is live you know what the coding network project is live this is a live URL you can update and edit all these changes so coming back to our yeah if you come yeah even if you want to add like MySQL you can add by using Heroku I think yeah you can search add on like clear yeah for this you need to give your yeah credit card or debit card just number but it will not charge it's like free of cost yeah so you got all these things so settings so you can see yeah this is a yeah you have my SQL as I know if you click I think uh, it was very slow I think Heroku is very slow but for you know just for texting purpose while you are learning it's good which you have you cannot create any other database but you can create tables in this database like I think yeah, which is pretty good for free <laughs> I'm not sure it is it will be useful for every one yeah to access all this screen maybe like username and go you can come to settings click on reveal config then you will get a URL so yeah this is the host which you need to connect the host is like after at the rate so this will be your host and this is your username this is your passport I think I have one example here yeah, yeah. this is my older project yeah, let me copy all these things to here so this is the old my old project so you can see here I think the database name you get here itself let me go back yeah, I think you get yeah you have a database name here so you can copy this database yeah I think you can configure yeah where you need to configure in the sense if you open this thing I think everybody knows if you go for application config database yeah here you need to configure all this stuff yeah I think here you need to change the host name username password and everything will be good to go yeah that's it from my side bye enjoy peace